All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, prayers, blessings, and salutations to you brothers out there that's teaching his word of sincerity and truth, and that's teaching in the name of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah. But, um, you know, I went to the store and I actually bought um, some honey today, had to re-up on it. And so I just decided through the spirit to try to, uh, you know, show Akim this remedy for your respiratory system. And it works. All right. Now, what we have is um, gold, uh, honey golden because uh, honey got some, honey. Honey is real good. I'm pretty sure you brothers know. And they got different um, different flavors of the honey, which can actually do uh, benefit you in different um, different ways. All right. But this right here, golden honey, okay? And what we have is uh, turmeric. When you mix these two things together, when you mix them together, so like it, it says, when, when, when you mix these together, turmeric, golden honey, strongest natural antibiotic, all right? The strongest natural antibiotic. You ain't gotta go to no doctor, you ain't gotta go to the pharmacy, to go get some met some 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 shit that Esau whipped up his witchcraft, and that's gonna um, give you side uh, side effects. This right here has side benefits, okay? And um, and as you can see, uh, this is my other honey I had a minute ago, uh, wildflower, which is good too. Uh, it's all good for your respiratory system, but when you look up these things, wildflower, golden honey, it's a difference because they have different benefits in it for different reasons for the body. Okay, but they all honey is mainly is good for the respiratory system. Okay, for your throat and um and uh, phlegm and all that. But um, I'm gonna just use this bottle because I'm gonna show you this mixture that I'm gonna do with the golden honey and turmeric. And um, uh, and as you can see over here, you know already uh oh salakia, um this too this because I already made me a tea form. I'm about to heat it back up. Um, daily detox. This is something good brothers could get to actually get all the uh, the toxins out of your body. This is real good. Um, you know, brothers got a physician, Benjamin brother over here. He be knowing about all this when we go see him. So he put us on our physician and stuff. So um, so that's good. So that's in there. That's that little bag in there and it makes it brown. Um, also, what I use in my water, you know, as uh, Tahar, the elders brought out. You know, if you ain't got you no know, alkaline water or nothing like that, you ain't got it. Crystal geyser water is real good because of the uh, the HP in it. You know, it's better than Poland Springs. It's better than this garbage. This garbage right here. Okay. And um, also, you know, just adding this in because it's here. Because this, I'm about to drink this right now. Uh, this is um, alkaline drops. Okay. Um, I don't know if you brothers know about it. Probably do, but. This is good too. Put about seven drops in there. You know what I'm saying? The alkaline my water from Crystal Geyser. And I got a little detox bag in there. And um let me get that off the strap. And um, you know, I'm about to whip it up real quick. But um uh, I'ma just uh show you and let me make it real quick and it's just show you. So now, opening up the honey. All right. And um, pour some in the jar first. As you can see, it's a little bit of left on the wildfire, but it ain't gonna hurt nobody. All right. All right. I'm not gonna make a whole lot because I don't need a whole lot right now. But um, as you can see, I pour about that much in there. You see, because I'm only making a cup full. I can make a lot and then just use it later. Let it sit. Because you can make this and let it sit in the jar like you letting the honey sit. You know what I'm saying? And use it whenever, you know, whenever you use it. Like, I'm pretty sure brothers, some brothers probably drink coffee. Coffee is a herb that's good, but it's not to be used, uh, abused. I mean, it's not to be abused. You know, and every morning you wake up, um, you will want to drink something hot. Something like a tea form, you know what I'm saying, with herbs in it because it'll get your organs uh, ready to go for the day. You know what I'm saying? It's like a jump start. You don't want to drink nothing too cold and your organs been, uh, you know, resting and not performing as much when you sleep. 
So when you wake up, you want to actually give your body a charge. You know what I'm saying? Actually a boost. So drinking something hot is good when you wake up. Okay? So I put this much in there. And um, I'm only going to do a tablespoon of turmeric. And I, Lord willing, I try to put pictures here because it's probably, I don't know if I can, can see exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's a tablespoon mixed with the honey. Take the spoon and just stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough, so stir it up. Could have poured some more honey, but it's all good. You can pour some more honey if you like. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that. All right. A little more honey. All right. Cool. Huh. Now, I'll try to link a picture so you can actually see the coloring of it and how exactly how it looked. All right. And I'm going to show you what I do. You know, Esau tells you, you know, you can actually eat this raw, right? But, you know, honey is good raw. But you can actually just, like, you know, take it and eat it. You know, take a tablespoon of it. But I don't like doing that. I mean, I would if I'm, you know. But I'll tell you what I'll do. Which, you know, you get a cold. Esau with the chemtrails. And um, you get a cold. You know, me, I, I hate getting sick, man. I hate it. So I try to prevent it. I try to prevent it, man. I'm grumpy. I'm, I'm a mean-ass dude. Like, when I get sick, man, I can't function right. Man, it's being sick is the worst. And, um, you know, you stare it up a little bit. And what I do, you know what I'm saying, when I get sick, I'm only really sick for about three or four days. You know, this kind of helps me out of uh, not being sick for so long, like for two weeks, man. You know you got a virus if you're sick for about two weeks, man. Because sometimes you can have a virus or sometimes you can just have a regular cold, man. Esau got these viruses going around. You should, if you know your body, you should know the difference if you got a virus. That shit's strong. That shit is, like, ridiculous. Like, you just sick, dead, like, dumb sick. You know what I'm saying? But, I right, uh, that's good. As long as you get it all up in there and mix it in there. Alright. That honey be banging, but, um... So if you can see it, that's how I look. I try to throw a picture in there so that I can actually see the coloring. And um, lock it. So then did that. Heat the tea up. While my uh, tea heat up, I'm gonna just go over the scripture. Let me just go over the scripture real quick. Bear with me. Right. This is um this is uh Ecclesiasticus, which is also known as Sirach in the Apocrypha, which is the Bible, King James. This is um Sirach chapter 38, and I'm gonna start at verse 10. Let's see if we can see it. Alright. It says, let's bring it back. It says, Leave off from sin and order thy hands upright. In order thy hands upright, and cleanse thy heart, which is thy mind, from all wickedness. Give a sweet savior and a memorial of a fine flower, and make a fat offering as not being. Then give place to the physician, for the Lord hath created him. Let him not go from thee, for thou hast need of him. Because when you're sick, you want to put those prayers up, man. Because mainly time, you know, when you're sick, man, probably because you went off. So you want to put those prayers up to the Lord. And as you put those prayers up to the Lord, you go see your physician, man, which is a healer, which the Lord created physicians back in the day. We didn't have uh, medicine, Esau's medicine, Tylenol, Motrin and all that bullshit, you know, in the ancient world. They used the earth, which was the Lord telling us to use all right because it's natural herbs come with side benefits not side effects like medicine it comes with side benefits so if you helping out something for your throat it can also help help out for your head or for your foot or whatever you know what i'm saying that's the beauty 
and the, that, that's the beauty of the Lord, man, of the day of, of how he created this earth and everything in it, which was perfect for us. So it says, then give place to, to the physician for the Lord have created him. Let him not go from thee for thou has need of him. So then when you put those prayers up to the Lord, you go to, to you go see the physician, tell the physician exactly what's your problem and if you know what I'm saying he's a physician he gonna give you the right properties herbs and stuff to take all right verse 13 it says it says there is a time when in their hands they are, there is good success for they shall not so like it, for they shall also pray unto the Lord that he would prosper that which they give for ease and remedy to prolong life so also the physician prayed to the Lord too you know because it's all according to the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bar Shem if he's gonna heal you or not the Lord say he do all things man so even when the physician coming up with the remedy you know he's supposed to put the prayers up you know but we ain't in the ancient world but you know the brother that need the help you know you put the prayers up because it's you know this 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 thing of ours is a small remnant man it's, it's only few of us out here that know you know the name that uses it in sincerity and truth and that fear him man you know and doing his will so you put the prayers up all right so let's bring that again it says um for they shall also pray unto the lord that he that he will prosper that which they give for ease and remedy to prolong life so you know this right here is nothing but a remedy with the honey and turmeric all right and now okay that's done that's simmering I take that off the stove for that get burnt and when Satan do that all right so now this is what I do you know what I'm saying this is how I use that remedy we just created with the golden honey and the turmeric it's a lot get there with me I only got two arms all right so now I pour the tea into the cup all right pour the tea into the cup and I take the one the two the uh, honey see how I look that just look it look look nice right but it tastes good too and it's definitely beneficial for you put the prayers up to the Lord but this is what I do you know what I'm saying then I pour a little honey I pour, pour of it, the honey and the turmeric, into the cup. You don't want to pour too much because it's going to be a lot sweet. You know, a lot of things is better raw. Like doing the detox, it may be plain, but that's better just doing it that. Or you can mix it with some honey if you like sweetening stuff. It's still good. But it's also it's always better to do it raw, like to tea form raw. All right. And um, take the spoon. Oh, shit. Why went up? All right, and that's that. That's the remedy, tea form. You know what I'm saying? I would say, you know, take um, two of these a day, morning, whenever you're sick, or even when you're not sick. All right, and um, I'm gonna just read a couple of things that Esau wrote. All right, um, I'm not gonna go through a whole bunch of this. I'm gonna just skim through it. Uh, this is turmeric. It says turmeric contains uh, basically anti-inflammatory and anti-carcinogenic properties. Okay, turmeric is real good for you. It says turmeric also has a strong anti-inflammatory property, destroys bacteria that causes diseases and promotes the body's natural defenses. Unlike synthetic antibiotics found in the pharmacy, turmeric has no, no negative effects in the intestinal microflora. The use of golden honey improves digestion and increases the beneficial flora activity in the gut this blend is the strongest antibiotic all right it says golden honey remedy okay it's the ingredients like we just went over golden honey mixed with turmeric all right and this is how um you know esau shows you how to use it it says uh upon the first symptoms of colds and flu uh number one day one Take one and a half tablespoon every hour during the day. Day two, take one and a half tablespoons every two hours during the day. 
day three. Take one and a half tablespoons three times a day. Okay. It says, uh, oh yeah, let's go down. It says the mix is an excellent choice if you suffer from hemopho hemophilia and hypertension and lowers blood pressure. Turmeric also reduces the blood sugar level. But before using it, remember to consult with your doctor. All right. So that's basically it. You know, oh, well, some more tips before eating. Excellent. But right. This this remedy is this remedy is good for it says before eating It's excellent for the throat and lungs It's it's good for while you eating excellent for the digestive system. And even after you eating after you ate, it says excellent for the colon and kidneys. So um so you know Lord well I hope this edifying for brothers is real quick to make it's not hard you know what I'm saying if you stay on this and drink it maybe before you even get sick you know if Lord's willing you know you can actually prevent or actually I wouldn't say probably you could prevent it maybe or you know you can have a lighter sickness man it won't have to be so long of many days unless you got a virus from this fucking devil man alright so with that I hope I was edifying I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah uh, double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone. Much love, prayers, blessings, and salutations to the elect that's teaching his word of sincerity and truth, and that's teaching in the name of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shah. Shalom.